guys, here we are making a delicious collard green sandwich. We're going to make a variation of the sunflower seed pate, and today we're making one with roasted red peppers. So this should be really delicious. So very easy. We have our three quarters of a cup of sunflower seeds here soaking in water. We're going to just dump that water, give it a quick rinse, and then this goes straight into our High speed blender. Get all those seeds in. Okay. So now we just need to flavor it up. And I have here some delicious sun dried tomatoes that I've reconstituted with some warm water. We're just going to spill off some of that water. You can leave a little bit in, it will just be nice and moist and rich. Okay, so that's probably about a quarter of a cup of sun dried tomatoes. And here I have about a half a cup of roasted red peppers. You can either roast these yourself or you can buy them in a jar. They even make them organically, which is lovely. And then I'm just, I'm not going to add today uh, raw garlic just because I feel like sometimes it can be a little bit too strong. So if you don't really like the raw garlic flavor, you could just use a little bit of garlic powder. Salt. And pepper. About a tablespoon of olive oil. And I would do about a quarter of your lemon. And then I always use the zest from the lemon. I have to find my zester, hold on. This will have to do. Okay, this isn't really the microplane that I love, but it must be in the dishwasher, so we, this is working. This is really, Wow, got a little in my eye. Okay, so that's basically it. Now we're just gonna puree it and we're gonna make our sandwich and put whatever vegetables we want on it. So here we go. done that was quick and now we are going to build our sandwich in our delicious collard green so the first thing I like to do is take the stem out just with the back of your knife just like this shiny side down by the way on the collard green so I just want to get that, that out and you don't need all of it you can just kind of toss that away if you feel like there's too much you can go back in Okay, now we'll take our pate as the base of our delicious, healthy, vegetarian raw sandwich and use as much as you want. This would probably make two to three collard green sandwiches. Smush it around. And at this point, you could definitely taste it and see what you think it needs. Lovely, excellent. I'm gonna add some fresh basil. You could have even thrown some basil into your mixer if you want, but I'm gonna add cucumber. And I thought it would be nice if I grated up some carrot and apple with my mandolin here, let's see. All right, and some apple. Yum. Okay. I also have some spinach and some sunflower sprouts. And if you're feeling really decadent and you want to drizzle a little more olive oil, go ahead. Another little sprinkle of salt, pepper, and you're ready. That's it, a gorgeous, delicious, healthy sandwich that is going to satisfy you and fill you up. Just go for it, grab it, and just shove it all in. Now, if you wanted to, you could tuck in the sides. I don't, I just roll it up. It stays together beautifully. And I slice it in half, 
and I eat it right away and I share it. Look how gorgeous that is. It's really yummy, I promise you. And the things that you can put inside of this beautiful sandwich are endless. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a delicious bite because I'm so hungry. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Delicious. I'm glad I'm going to enjoy this. Very good. Great for a picnic. I hope you guys like it.